okay what is up guys welcome back to my channel so today is a story time video um but i'm gonna add like video clips and uh pictures and screenshots and whatnot uh in the story time so it's more fun to watch i guess because i'm more of a visual person if you guys didn't know i got a nose job it's pretty much obvious it's all my face and if you guys aren't following me on instagram basically you don't really know what happened but i was rushed to the emergency room so i'm gonna get into all of that so basically this is what happened so after my surgery i was all fine i was doing well you know i was drowsy from anesthesia and i went home so i took my pain meds when i got home but i never took this one um antibiotic which is bactrim um if you guys haven't seen my own videos you guys don't know that i have an it, i used to have an inflamed intestine uh, my small little intestine is inflamed um, and I also found out I was allergic to like two different medications when I got rushed to the hospital last time since that video I've gone to the hospital two more times to form allergic reactions uh, so I found out I was allergic to like four different medications now so it was all good uh, I didn't take this one medication Bactrim um, I was already hesitant about taking it in the first place because I I'm so scared to take like strong antibiotics now because i'm scared of having allergic reaction because that pain is so bad especially the first time i've ever had allergic reaction i actually had a, like a mini seizure um so i've always been scared to take medication now i don't like to take anything except like gummy vitamins that's it no pills i i hate pills now so when my doctor was prescribing me all of these stuff i was at the pharmacy and I was like, can you guys just check again, make sure, like, I'm allergic to this. I asked them, like, could you make sure that Bactrim doesn't run in the family of other medications that I'm already allergic to? They told me I'd be fine and everything. And I was scaring myself. I was going up on my phone and searching up Bactrim and, like, the causes and this and that. Because it's a really strong drug. Like, it fights infections and stuff. Um, I had an appointment this day with my doctor again because uh, I just had to do a little checkup on me. So I took my meds and I was headed to their office. And once I got to their office, actually no, it was in the Uber. I was in the Uber and we were like pulling up to the office. I was already feeling like itchiness like all over my body. Uh, we sat down in the office. I was kind of freaking out. Like I was like shaking already. I was telling my boyfriend like, babe, I think I have an allergic reaction. Elijah's just like, no, I think you're overthinking it. You're fine. You're fine. And then I was like, okay, maybe I am fine. I tried to convince myself I was fine for like a minute or so. And then I was like, no, I'm really having an allergic reaction. And I told my boyfriend again, he was like no Kayla you'll be fine you fine and then I was like okay maybe I am fine <laughs> and I was kind of just like fighting back and forth am I fine or am I having an allergic reaction right now because it wasn't bad yet and then like two minutes later sitting in the office bam my whole body was like burning and itching and it was my back was like hurting and it, it was just like i cannot describe the pain because i don't know but like it's something like that like so my doctor's assistant was like oh my god okay we need to take you to the urgent care uh not the hospital the urgent care because they'll just give you some steroids uh so she was like we need to take you to the urgent care so she was like let me get my car um and then she, her car ended up dying so we had to go uber there and we ended up Ubering all the way to an urgent care, which was like five minutes away. It wasn't bad. I was like crying and screaming in pain though. Was, you guys do not understand. I've gone through this like five times already in my life, right? This is like the fifth time. Yeah, I've gone through this five times in my life. It's the worst pain ever. And each time it just gets worse. And I guess this medication's really strong that it was just so bad. The hospitals really are making bank off of me though. Let's be real. When I got to the urgent care, they expected me to fill out an application, but I was literally like dying. So my boyfriend had to do everything uh, while they gave me like a shot of steroids and they gave me a shot out of another drug. And then they put a warm blanket over me and to see, they gave me, they let it sit for like five minutes. Nothing happened. It wasn't working. Uh, then they were like, okay, let's wait another five minutes. Nothing was happening still. I was still in pain. It was actually even getting worse. You're actually feeling cold. And yeah. Shaking. Yeah. I was shaking. feeling... I was feeling really cold now and I was like shaking even though they had like warm blankets over me and I was at the urgent care and the doctor was like okay clearly the steroids and the other medications not working so they had to call 911 everyone knows like ambulance costs so freaking much I've already had to pay for one it was like a thousand something dollars for a stupid ride that's like two minutes away and the hospital that I went to was like 
five minutes away it wasn't even that far uh but he gave me an option for ambulance or uber but i was in so much pain that i literally could not even stand up that i needed someone to actually like physically carry me so the ambulance had to come and get me my boyfriend's freaking out because my boyfriend's never been there before experiencing me having allergic reaction before it used to always be my parents that had uh the experience with me i honestly don't remember a lot in the ambulance because i was in so much pain so i know i just got to the hospital i remember being in the er they kept asking me what was wrong i told them straight up i'm having an allergic reaction and they're like okay to what i was like back trump and they're like okay we're gonna give you another dose of another antibiotic and i was like hold up i just had an allergic reaction i was literally like yelling like yelling while i was in pain saying i had it i was like i had an allergic reaction to another antibiotic and you're gonna give me another antibiotic and they told me they had to because the since i had stitches on my rib and my my nose and uh my scalp they can't risk me getting an infection they started pumping me with a bunch of like pain meds and what babe uh tylenol banjil tylenol benadryl uh they're giving me not morphine but a stronger dose of morphine what was it diluted or something like that it's just kind of like morphine but stronger and guess what i had an allergic reaction to that too and they started pumping me with other shit like tylenol this and that and I was in that ER room for like a good, I don't know, seven hours and they were just pumping me with a bunch of medication. Okay, it's going. Okay. This and that, and I just had a reaction to every single one of their medications. Like it just, nothing was working. So I was in pain for like seven hours hours guys so after everything i was feeling a little better i was still in a lot of pain like i was still itching and burning uh so itching and burning itching. okay i watched too much tiktoks they decided that they're gonna keep me overnight because it was kind of like late at night late after that so they said they're gonna keep me up at night so they moved me to a different room the other type of morphine i i'm sorry guys i'm no doctor so i don't know what the hell the drug's called but they decided to pump me with that again uh to help me go to sleep and i started crying and screaming and i was like no 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 i can't have this one i guess the nurse didn't know so uh they pumped me with that again and i started having an allergic reaction and i was like crying they pumped me with that and i was having another allergic reaction and through that whole entire night i was like they couldn't give me another they couldn't give me morphine after that because they already pumped me with like that drug so you can't you know you can't have too many like drugs in your body because you're gonna die so they couldn't give me morphine they're like sorry we're gonna have to give you the morphine later and i was like i, I honestly was wishing like i was dead like i honestly was telling my boyfriend too i was like i just want to die already and then um i remember you tell me you didn't feel like you were gonna make it yeah <laughs> like oh my god i'm gonna cry right now yeah i literally even told him because i was it's so much pain like i never felt like this before During that whole entire freaking night, I was crying and screaming. Uh, they would give me some like sleeping pill, but I would s literally like it did not work. I would sleep for five minutes and then wake up screaming, and then I would fall asleep again, wake up screaming. Like it was all night. Yeah, Elijah stayed with me the whole entire time I was there. I was there for three days, by the way, guys. I ended up not being an overnight thing. I ended up being there for three whole days. Elijah stayed with me the whole entire time. He didn't even go home to shower. <laughs> True love right there. Like he could have just gone to sleep. Like, you know, like he could have put some earphones in and gone to sleep. But he stayed up with me and held my hand the whole entire time. It was probably 4 a.m. in the morning and they finally came in and they're like, okay, we could pump you with some morphine. They gave me some morphine and I was feeling a lot better. The doctors back home in Florida, by the way, I'm, I'm in California right now. The doctors back home in uh, Florida would always just pump me with morphine and I'm like good to go. I was feeling better and I went to sleep 
and I actually had a good sleep. I wasn't eating a lot when I was in the hospital too. I would take like two bites out of my food and I just, I felt so sick to eat. When I woke up after uh, my sleep, I was noticing that I haven't had a bowel movement yet. And basically that means like I haven't took a shit yet. And if you guys don't know, I have an inflamed intestine, so that's a no-go. And so it's been like two days now and I realized I haven't gone to the bathroom. So I started freaking out to my boyfriend about that, saying, oh my god. I know what's going on. My intestine is inflamed again. If your intestine's inflamed, it takes like a year for it to go back to the way it is. And it hasn't been a year yet for me. Uh, so my intestine is still like mildly inflamed. Now it's just inflamed again. So I'm back to the same spot. But it's mildly inflamed. Um, and if you're clogged up and stuff and you know, you have gone to the bathroom. And one day your, you know, your intestine can pop and, you know, you can die. They didn't get back to me like an hour later with the med uh, the medications. My boyfriend was getting so impatient and so like annoyed by them because they were pumping me with medication I didn't need and not giving me the things that I needed. Like, so I know the things that my doctors give me when I was back home. So they were just pumping me with random shit. So now I know for sure my bill is so high it's gonna be so high because they were doing like x-rays on me again and ultrasounds and i didn't even need all of that because i already knew what was going on i was having an allergic reaction and then i also just realized that my intestine was inflamed so that's why i was having bad reactions to other medications they were pumping me with so after like the bowel movement i know this is so tmi like to say but like this is all that happened. So after that, like I felt so much better. Like my back felt more relieved and whatnot. And I don't know if I ruined my nose or not from crying because I was crying a lot. So after that, I was feeling better. I was still really weak, not eating a lot. They were pumping me with the same medications. I was having a hard time going to bed still. Uh, but what they're trying to, the only reason they kept me another day is because what they're trying to do is find another antibiotic that they can give me because they can't let me go home with no antibiotics because I have to take one because I just had surgery and I have a cut on my rib, uh, my nose, and my head. So I have to take some antibiotic to prevent me getting an infection. And I was like, you know, I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'll, t I'll take the infection. But they had like different type of doctors come in. Like infectious disease doctor came in. Apparently they told me they were doing research for like four hours and uh they found a antibiotic that's for me it's a very very old drug four hours of research they found out that i am not allergic to clindamycin uh clindamycin let me find that paper little booklet of my medication because they really really wanted me to take the medication but i was refusing uh so i was like fighting with the doctors like no i'm not taking it they even called my mom so it's currently day three of the hospital um they moved me from the ER to uh, the emergency room, and then now I'm in the hospital. I've been staying here for three days already. Um, they're trying to give me another medication, even though I've already had like bad like allergic reactions to like four of them, but I've also had an allergic reaction to like a stronger type of morphine too. And, and now they're trying to give me another medication. They they were really trying to get me to take that meds. And I was refusing. You guys should have seen it. It was so funny. I was like, no. The nurse was like, okay, I'll come back. And I was like, no, you don't have to come back. I'm not going to take it. I'm allergic to Ciprone. I'm allergic to Doxy, Doxalin. Doxalin gave me the, the seizure. So not taking Doxalin ever in my life. I'm allergic to anything with Sulfa. So any medication with Sulfa. Um, I'm allergic to Promazine, um, and I'm also allergic to Tortolin, and I'm also allergic to Diluted. So I'm allergic to six different things. By the way, when I was there, guys, uh, my white blood cells, when they took uh, uh, blood tests on me, were very high, and that means there's an infection. So they were thinking there was an infection in me this whole entire time, and there wasn't. It was because of the meds that they gave me. <laughs> So I didn't have an infection. The only reason my white blood cells were so high was because of all the medications they gave me. Um, yeah, guys, so that's basically it on why I was rushed into the hospital and was in there for like three freaking days. Um, if you ever had an allergic reaction, let me know. And how bad was yours? Um, 
because mine sounds really bad. I don't, I cannot even explain it in words. Like, all I know, I can, I can use like b burning and itching, but like, it's like 20 times that. Like, that's like the only words I can use and think of. Like, it's, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video because I'm gonna be getting my cast off. <music>